Once upon a time, there lived a sweet little girl who was loved by everyone. But her grandmother loved her most of all. One day, her grandmother gave her a beautiful red velvet hood. Come to Grandma. I want to show you what I made for you. Oh, it's a red hood? A beautiful red hood for a beautiful little girl. I love it. From now on, I would like to be called Little Red Riding Hood. Thank you so much, Grandma. You're very welcome. Come here and give me a kiss. And ever since that day, the little girl only ever wore that hood. One day, her mother called her. Little Red Riding Hood. Two and two make four. Repeat after me. That's it. Good boy. Little Red Riding Hood. Yes, Mommy? Take this basket and go to Grandma's house. She's feeling ill and needs some tasty food to get healthy again. It smells delicious. I made her a cake, a roast, and some eggs. I also put a bottle of wine in there, too. Go on now, but go fast on the road and don't stray from the path. It can be very dangerous. Promise, do what I say. Don't forget to give your grandma a kiss when you get there, okay? Yes, Mom, I will. No, doggy, you have to stay home. I'll go to Grandma's by myself. Ah, oh, such beautiful flowers. Hello there, pretty flowers. Hello, little red riding hood. What a clear little spring. How are you, little spring? I'm doing great, little red riding hood. Grandma lived in the woods, about a half hour away from the village. What Little Red Riding Hood didn't know was that a wolf also lived in those woods, and he was not the most pleasant creature. But Little Red Riding Hood didn't know that, and so she didn't get scared when she saw the wolf. Hello there, Little Red Riding Hood, he said. Well, hello, Mr. Wolf. Where are you going so early in the morning? I'm going to visit my grandma said Little Red Riding Hood with pride. What's in your basket? My grandma was feeling ill, so my mom made her a cake, a roast, and some eggs. Ah. Oh, and there's a bottle of wine as well. Ah. What did you say, Mr. Wolf? Um, nothing. And where does your grandmother live? Much deeper in the woods. But the wolf was not satisfied with her answer, and so he pressed her. But where exactly? You need to keep going straight ahead. Her house will then be behind three old oaks. Easy to find. Hmm, three oaks. Okay, I got it. You know what? I'm heading that way too. Would you like to walk together? Yay! And we can play math on the way, right? Oh, sure. Good. Let's hmm. start with something easy. Two plus two equals? Three. No, Mr. Wolf, it's four. Okay, another one. Uh, one plus three equals? Three. It's four. And so the wolf was able to convince Little Red Riding Hood to lead him all the you way really to Grandma's house. I'm going to have to teach but you. But the wolf had a plan. He was thinking about Two Red Riding three. Hood. Four. No, Mr. Wolf. Red Riding Hood seems to be tender. I think she'll taste even better than her grandma. But maybe I could get them both if I play it smart. And I am smart. I am a really smart wolf. What did you say, Mr. Wolf? Nothing, my darling. I was just uh, thinking about math. Very good. Five minus three equals? But why are we talking about math when it's so nice just being outside? Do you hear the birds singing? It's something so beautiful. Yes, you're right. Their singing is lovely. And look at how beautiful these flowers are. Why don't you go and pick some for your grandmother? What a nice wolf you are. You're right. My grandma will be happy if I bring her some pretty flowers. Once they were close to Grandma's house, Red Riding Hood began to pick some flowers. The wolf was very happy to see the girl to stray further and further away from the house. <laughs> yes, I tricked her. As Red Riding Hood was picking flowers, the wolf ran fast to Grandma's house and knocked on the door. <laughs> Yes, who's there? It's me, Red Riding Hood, Grandma. I brought you some yummy food. Come in. I'm unable to get out of bed. I don't feel very well. Ha. <laughs> A wolf? <laughs> and so uh. the wolf had eaten Grandma. But he did not intend to just stop there. The wolf had a sneaky plan. First, I will pull the curtain. 
once. Then I'll put on Grandma's bonnet and lie in her bed. And when Little Red Riding Hood gets here... Ah! <laughs> Delicious. This hood is way too small for my head, but she won't be able to notice it. Uh, oh, I just have to wait. Meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood was busy picking flowers to give to her grandma. Then suddenly, she remembered that she had to go and see... Grandma! <laughs> when Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandma's house, she noticed the door was open. She was so scared, but Little Red Riding Hood took a deep breath and picked up the courage to enter the house. Hello, good morning, Grandma. But Grandma didn't answer. So Little Red Riding Hood went closer. She saw Grandma laying in her bed. Little Red Riding Hood noticed that something about Grandma looked rather unusual. Oh, well, Grandma, what big ears you have. The wolf changed his voice and answered, All the better to hear you, my dear. And what big eyes you have. All the better to see you, my dear. But, Grandma, what really big hands you have. All the better to hug you, my dear. And what big mouth you have, too. All the better to eat you, my dear. The wolf jumped out of bed and <laughs> ate the <laughs> red riding hood. <laughs> After that, the wolf fell asleep and started to snore. But his snoring was so loud that a hunter who was passing by heard it. The hunter thought that it was the grandma who was snoring. Wow, grandma's snoring really loud. Huh. Perhaps she's feeling ill? But instead of Grandma, the hunter saw the oh. wolf in her bed. Well, there you are, mister. I've been looking for you for a long time. The hunter wanted to shoot the wolf. But he stopped because he thought that maybe the wolf had eaten the Grandma. He went and took the scissors. He cut the wolf's belly open and found the grandma and Little Red Riding Hood inside, unharmed. Then the hunter had another idea. Why don't we fill the wolf's entire belly with some stones? Great idea. That's what he gets for messing with grandma and her granddaughter. And so the hunter put stones in the wolf's belly and then stitched it back together. And when the wolf wakes up, uh, uh, he then saw the hunter and got so uh, scared that he tried to run away, but he couldn't do it because the stones were so heavy that it was weighing him down. <laughs> That's what you deserve, you bad wolf! Thank you so much, Mr. Hunter. You're welcome, but what's inside the basket? Oh, it's the food I brought for Grandma and a bottle of wine. Let's go see what your mother has sent me today. Oh. <gasps> That smells so good. The three of them came out to the front of the house, and they ate the delicious food that Mother made for Grandma. Then Red Riding Hood made a promise. I will never, ever stray from the path again, and I will always listen to my mother. Make sure you do. 